Ladies and gentlemen, what else can you say but Rolf Harris? so much that's uh, very moving i've been sitting so long my legs wouldn't work when i got up to try and go up the stairs and well, how nice to be presented with this from you robert and have somebody who you know as a friend to present it to you is just a why i'm here icing on the cake thank you very much thanks dara i was going to say uh, can you tell what it is yet? No, but look, perhaps I won't. <laughs> I can't begin to tell you just how humbled I am by being here in, in this distinguished company. Um, well, so many previous recipients of, of this BAFTA fellowship. Can't believe it. How amazing it is to discover that what you love doing most can become your career if you're as lucky as I've been. When I was a kid, my dad told me that his father, that was my granddad, who was a Welsh portrait painter, he said to all his sons, he said, don't, whatever you do, do what I do. You'll never make a decent living, get a proper job or you'll always be broke. That was his advice. Well, I came over here to study art. <laughs> I ran out of money instantly, <laughs> gone. <laughs> and I did an audition, uh, quite a scary audition, because uh, the chap who was doing the audition was a man called Michael Westmore, and he was dictating a letter to a secretary, and he had another lady filing stuff in the cabinet over there. And I'm fresh from Australia, scared witless, and I'm trying to sell an idea for a story about an octopus and a shark, which I'd written. And like an idiot, I mean, you don't know when you're a kid, do you? You just don't know. My only decent selling point was that I could draw quickly while I was talking. I could do the drawings. And... So what did I do? I did all the bloody drawings the night before in a book. And they went, oh, very good. Um, could you, could you think out of, say, a, 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 I don't know, a five minute story with about six drawings? And, and I said, yes, is, is this for another audition? And he said, no, no, we go to air live on Saturday. I almost said, I only do auditions. He scared the living daylights out of me. <laughs> Moving swiftly on my heartfelt thanks, go out to the legendary Sir George Martin who recorded all my stuff before the Beatles took him over completely. My thanks to the lovely Lorraine Hegacy who put her job on the line for me with Animal Hospital, and to Tina Fletcher, to Danny Cohen, controller of BBC One who now takes care of me. Just a big thank you. And a thank you to Pat Lake-Smith, to my brother Bruce Harris and my manager Jan Kennedy Billy Marsh Associates. Thank you, thank you all so much. And, and thank you to you, to, to you, the public. You've always been so supportive, such a delight, such friends. Thank you. <laughs> I've got to say that without you, uh, I would be nowhere. It, it would never have happened without your reaction to me. You've been so supportive, general public, just wonderful, just like friends.
But I'd also like to say a big thanks to my daughter, Bindi, and her family, and uh, most importantly, to my incredible, beautiful wife, my soulmate, Alwyn. I am a very lucky man. Thank you. Bafta, thank you. Thank you so much. Come on, come on, come on.